All right, welcome back to the Spirits Path. This is D, and uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different going into uh, 2021. Um, I'm going to try and talk about the yearly card, which is represented by the Ancestor. All right, and the Ancestor is card number five within the Wildwood Tarot deck. And if you think of 2021, when you add up the numbers, two plus two plus one equals five. So this is going to be the year of the ancestor. And the ancestor, you know, she carries the, the wand of wisdom and the drum that summons those that can hear the universal beat. And what this is telling me is that this year, the ancestor um, wants you to follow, you know, the beat that you hear. Okay. Um, she stands in a gateway of birch trees. So, you know, if you are hearing that universal beat to do something different, the, the birch trees are a gateway into a new beginning. Um, this marks a, new, a path of a, a new commitment. You know, how fitting for it to be in the, in the new year. You know, we all make new uh, resolutions and commitments moving forward. And uh, once you pass that plane of the birch trees, there's no turning back. Okay, and uh, there's confirmation that, you know, your journey has started along its path. And there's also a, if you look closely, there is a new moon about to transpire, which is also confirmation, um, you know, that your path is, is, uh, is starting anew, okay? The ancestor is also a guardian of the earth, and it allows you to begin this, this new cycle, okay, that you're going forward. And uh, it's fitting, you know, for 2021 that we're, you know, hoping that, you know, COVID ends and, you know, we can start a new cycle of, you know, new opportunities, new beginnings, you know, a new normal, so to speak. And, um, you know, now it's, a, you know, a shift has occurred. You know, the planetary energies that were out there all moved into a different alignment during 2021. And there's a new energy involved, a new energy of hope, a new energy of you know, opportunity, a new energy of, you know, longing to, you know, be back with society, all right? And it's now time to walk that path that's summoning you. Whatever that universal beat is, okay, that's summoning you. Trust in your intuition and listen to spirit. Let spirit, um, you know, guide you on your new profound journey as you walk past those birch trees, okay? Listening to that universal beat of that drum. Dum, 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 dum. So that's the going to be the 2021 message um, for the year, the ancestor. And I'll keep bringing this up maybe monthly, all right, just to uh, remind you. Um, I'm also going to tie in a monthly card for you. Um, you know, and of course, the, all these readings are, are general. Um, but I'll, I'll tie in a monthly card by sign. And then I'll, uh, after that, I will also do the daily tarot. All right, which is uh, will be attached to this uh, to this yearly. Hello, Virgo. The uh, monthly card for January out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is the Great Bear. And as we looked at the year, okay, the uh, the ancestor is guiding you to that universal beat and having you walk through, uh, you know, its gateway of birch trees to start you on a new journey. All right, the month of January is telling you, you know, not to be judgmental. All right, because that's what this card is, is asking you to do. All right, it's, um, you know, don't be judgmental of, you know, the bear on top of, you know, the, the guardian passageway or the guarded passageway because, you know, as you walk through, he's there to help guide you. All right, you know, so let whatever judgment you have of, of uh, the universe, the divine, um, you know, what's happening with, you know, other people in your lives, uh, you know, with the social activity, with, you know, coronavirus, political standpoints, however, however it is. Um, you know, let this represent the calling of your soul, you know, to be free of all judgment, all right? And the great one, the great bear is, is one of the guardians of the wildwood, too. And, um, you know, he holds the power of life and death, you know, and for those who break the rules of the forest, you know, and, you know, we all have judgmental days, you know, where we're talking and gossip or something like that. So, you know, the biggest thing is change is, ine is inevitable. And how you survive that change is, is up to you. And that's the assessment of looking within 
and judging yourself and judging others, all right? And not to be too harsh, all right? There's, there's only one great judge in the, in, in the universe, all right? And he'll take care of that on Judgment Day. So be honest with yourself with what's going on. Be honest and remember that the universe knows all. That's to, uh, the monthly message for you, Virgo. Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is D, and today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is the Ten of Bows and Responsibility. All right, and uh, going into this new year, we talked about the ancestor, you know, going into, and uh, you know, you can transfer this over to your monthly card as well, which I have uh, posted, and um, you know, the responsibility that we have. Just not for ourselves, but it's for others, okay? And, you know, we have to recognize the challenge that has been put upon us to carry these bows back up to the community. You know, we all have different responsibilities at work, at home, um, you know, out in society. And it's up to us, you know, to maintain that. Now, those that have put it, that responsibility on us have done so with honor and respect. They want us to, to grow and learn, to, to gain that wisdom, to gain that understanding, to gain that opportunity, okay, of, you know, leading, okay, of possibly starting your own tribe, all right? And, you know, many life lessons can be learned when you take on this responsibility. It allows you to become confident and allows you to grow, okay? But, you know, that honor and that sign of respect within your community, you know, helps you become a leader, all right, and responsibility helps you into that mantle of leadership. So, you know, with that self-worth and that self-respect that you have, take on that responsibility as you're moving forward. You know, be responsible within yourself, your family, you know, and your community and your tribe. So that's the message of the day, tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck, that ten of bows and responsibility. Uh, leave your comments down below, subscribe to the channel, um, share it with others and like it for me. And this is D for Spirits Path, and we'll talk to you out. Take care, God bless, and stay safe.